friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's a grocery haul. I went to Walmart, Trader Joe's and Natural Grocers which is kind of like our sprouts or whole foods for my favorite cottage cheese. If you're new, I have a ton of my old favorite standbys as well as some really awesome new food finds and some killer deals. So I'm super excited about this week's grocery haul. If you're excited, give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and again, just lets me know to keep putting out grocery hauls as we move into the 2021 year. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do grocery hauls every single Saturday so you don't want to miss out. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you're going to find my custom 2021 calendar. It is all about self-care, staying within your calorie or points goal, getting in a workout, and of course tracking your water. It's all encompassing and it can be customized just for you. We're just in the beginning of January. I'm shipping same day, so definitely grab one before we get too far into the year. Also, you'll find my nutrition coaching website, which includes macro and calorie calculations personalized to you. Highly, highly, highly recommend having this done for the new year. It's really important to know how much you should be eating to lose weight. Also, you'll find 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions if you need just a little bit more individual one-on-one -on -one help. So check that out down in the description box. Links, discount codes to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, again, another community we'd love to have you join, are all down in the description box as well. So let's jump into this week's super exciting grocery haul. So here's this week's grocery haul. I went to Trader Joe's, Walmart, and made a quick stop at Natural Grocers just for, you guessed it, my good culture, cottage cheese. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. Before we start our grocery haul, I thought I'd hop on and say hello and let you know if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put that right here on the screen for you. You can head on over and follow me there for more day-to-day, up-to-date type of things. But I did post on my Instagram that our oven, our brand new range, has an air code that doesn't allow me to use the actual oven. So in this week's grocery haul, I prepped for meal prep, hoping that I may have it fixed in time to do it. But I also picked up a few healthy, convenient type of foods as well, just in case I don't have an oven. The good news is I have a stove top but I don't actually have an oven. So you're gonna see a few different things in this week's grocery haul, but still it's some really, really good ideas for quick and easy. I went ahead and restocked my kombucha. I picked up the big bottle at Walmart. It's only $7, and this is equivalent to three regular size bottles that are $3 a piece. So I always pick this up at Walmart to help fill in the gaps of kombucha for a lot less expensive. And then they did bring out their seasonal flavor. This is their February Love Synergy Pure Love Blood Orange Hibiscus and Rose. I remember this being really good last year, so I went ahead and picked up three bottles of that as well. That way I have six bottles total to get me through the week. I needed quite a bit of cream cheese for recipes, so I grabbed the two pack of Philadelphia One Third Less Fat completely out of yogurt. So I picked up four, two of the Two Good Coconut, a black cherry, and a mixed berry. My favorite hummus because it's been a minute since I had the Hope Hummus. If you're new here, this is the best hummus. It's the cleanest ingredients. You can actually have three tablespoons for one smart point. So as far as points go, it is the best on the market. And the kale pesto is my very, very favorite. If you don't like pesto, you won't like it. So make sure that you're a fan of pesto because it definitely comes front and center in this hummus. And then of course my cottage cheese. This is what I went to natural grocers for. I bought three containers of the Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese. I do have a ton of new subscribers, so I've shown this several times on my channel. This is by far the best cottage cheese there is. It isn't runny, it's small curd, it's thick, it's really, really creamy. So if you can pick this up in your area, definitely grab it. They also have a lower fat version that's in a light blue container versus this dark blue container. I've seen it at Walmart, Target. Definitely pick it up and try it if you love cottage cheese because it is the best. 
a cheese tray for Troy. He likes to have cheese, meat, and crackers throughout the week. So I like to buy these pre-cut ready to go ones. I was almost out of eggs. So of course at Walmart, I had to get my happy eggs. $6.98 for 18 eggs, which is a really, really good price. These are the best eggs ever. The yolk is nice and orange. They taste really good. You would be surprised in the taste difference of good and not so good quality eggs. Buttermilk bread for Troy's lunches. He's having BLTs this week. I did pick up a big, huge pack of bacon at Costco. If you saw that in last week's massive grocery haul. And then I just needed some bread and a few other things for his sandwiches. Providing my oven is working for meal prep for breakfast, I wanted to make a blueberry French toast bake using a sourdough loaf. In the event it's not working, I'll just pop this in the freezer and we'll make it next week. We may be doing a lot of implementing and changing things up for meal prep this week. Lots and lots of canned food. So I needed some pinto beans, crushed tomatoes, and then lots of other beans for recipes. Chili beans was one thing that I needed. I was really hoping to find them organic, but for some reason at Walmart, all of their soup and all of their beans were completely picked over. So I ended up just getting the SNW chili beans pinto. And then at Trader Joe's, I grabbed two cans of white beans, the organic great Northern beans. I will tell you that the price for organic beans at Trader Joe's is less expensive than regular beans at Walmart. Take a good look at these. Yes, my friends partake cookies and I didn't even shop at Target. Guess who has these? Trader Joe's. They had the birthday cake and the chocolate chip. And what's even better is they're a dollar less a box than Target. So $3.99 a box. These are the best cookies. I love them. You can have an entire cookie for two smart points. The birthday cake hands down is my very favorite with chocolate chip as a close second. So if you have a Trader Joe's, save yourself some money and pick up the Partake cookies. I'm telling you, best cookies out there. I needed a brown sugar replacement and the only option at Walmart Walmart was Swerve. I don't love Swerve, but I need to place an order from Lakanto so that I can pick up the golden. But this will do in a pinch because I had several recipes this week needing a brown sugar supplement. I haven't bought these in a while, but I love these. These are the Trader Joe's Bomba Peanut Snacks. This is exactly what they look like. They're like a puff covered with peanut butter, but they're not sweet. They're definitely a more savory peanut butter, but they're really delicious. And this whole bag is only 99 cents at Trader Joe's. Also at Walmart, I had to score a few of their Valentine's Day treats. So every Halloween, and Valentine's Day and even Easter, they come out with these individual servings of treats. They're definitely low calorie, they're low smart point. I'm gonna pop in a couple pictures here that I took at Walmart of the different selection. There was at least 20 Valentine's Day individual packs that are low point, low calorie to choose from. So I went ahead and picked up two that I thought it would be really good this next week. These are the Trolley Sour Bright Crawler Mini. So each one of these little pouches is only 45 calories and two smart points. So if you want something sweet that you can toss in your lunch, I plan on putting these in Troy's lunch and your kid's lunch. These are great and not to mention they are made for Valentine giving. So you can even use these for the Valentine's Day at your kid's school. And then I also also went ahead and grabbed the Chex Mix Muddy Buddies. So these are 80 calories a pack, 25 packs for $4.98 four smart points per pack. I love Money Buddies, and these are actually the cookies and cream flavor. So I thought that buying the sweet treats in individual bags would be really smart for portion control. Plus you can still enjoy your favorite sweet treats. And by the way, these trolley ones were $2.98 for the box of 20. Italian dry salami for Troy. Again, cheese, crackers, and meat. And this one I picked up at Trader Joe's. And then as I've mentioned before, I always like to have some lunch meat on hand. It's a great way to get in protein for really, really low calories calories, make sandwiches in a pinch. And with my oven being broken, that might be what I'm doing this week. So this Black Forest uncured ham from Trader Joe's is really good and super, super affordable. And while I was at Trader Joe's, this was a new dog treat. And you guys know I have to get Diesel and Lola something every time. These are the Just scan Salmon Skin. They don't look very appetizing, but it's just the skin of the salmon with all of the omega-3 and good fatty acids for your dogs. And I think these were $2.99 or $3.99 at Trader Joe's, which is a great price. I also needed tater tots for a dinner recipe. And then here's a few of the convenience things that I picked up. I haven't had these in such a long time and I love them. These are the bird's eye veggie mac and cheese, elbows with cheddar cheese sauce, 
This tastes like legit macaroni and cheese. You can even eat the whole bag and not blow your points or calories for the day. It's only 170 calories per one cup, which is not bad at all. Cooks in the bag in the microwave, which mine works. So this may come in handy for dinners. And then this is a new one to me. I actually have never even seen this. This is the sauced garlic butter rotini and vegetables. The entire bag is only 290 calories. Now there's no protein in here. So I would recommend adding a protein of some sort. I may throw in some tuna or some chicken but I thought again easy quick meal tortellini for a soup recipe this is something I can make on my stove top so that will save the day this next week and everything else that I picked up is produce starting with some frozen vegetables this is the organic broccoli florets the organic California blend this is my very favorite and then I actually needed two bags of riced cauliflower for a recipe. I think it was like eight cups of cauliflower. So I ended up having to buy two bags, lots of tomatoes because BLTs for Troy. And then I actually need tomatoes for a couple of recipes, green onions for salads and dinner recipes, a pomelo. These were new at Trader Joe's. So this is a sweeter version of a grapefruit. I think they were $1.69 or 70 at Trader Joe's. So I thought I'd get that just for a little something different for fruit. Couple of bell peppers for dinner recipes, a head of iceberg lettuce for Troy's BLTs, and lastly, two bags of spinach for recipes. I actually have several recipes that call for spinach, and then what's ever left, I can use for salad. So that is this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into my meal plan tentatively and my meal prep also tentatively. So here is this week's meal plan. And again, I said tentatively, depending on my oven, but this is the week of one nine through one fifteen. We are almost halfway through the first month of the year. That's crazy to me. So tonight, Saturday is pizza night. We're actually going to a friend's house to have pizza and beer and just relax and catch up with them after the holidays. Sunday, I'm planning on a cheesy chicken and cauliflower rice casserole. Monday is tortellini soup, which I've been craving soup because it's freezing here. So I'm excited for that. Tuesday is leftovers. I try to do jazzercise on Tuesday nights. Wednesday, I'm doing tater tot casserole taco style because I want to do something a little comfort food related. So this sounds really good. And then Thursday in my instant pot, I'm making a creamy pasta, which is also really great because the instant pot doesn't involve my broken oven. And then Friday we'll do leftovers. It helps us finish up anything left over from earlier in the week. And this is my tentative plan for meal prep. I'll keep you guys posted. If I decide not to meal prep or if I change it up, you'll see that on Monday. For breakfast, I'm planning a blueberry French toast casserole. This sounds amazing. French toast and blueberries, yum. And then lunch, I'm doing a 30 minute Mongolian beef. I've been craving Chinese fake out and Mongolian beef sounds amazing. And a 30 minute recipe is always a huge win. And then for dessert, I'm planning on a two point soft ginger cookie, two smart points for a cookie. So that is what is tentatively on the plan for meal prep, which you will see on Monday. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope I gave you some good food inspiration this week and how exciting that Trader Joe's has partake cookies. If you haven't tried them, try them. They are so delicious and you can't beat two smart points for a really, really good, delicious cookie. So check those out next time you're over at Trader Joe's. I'm excited for this week's recipes, God willing. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for meal prep on Monday and lots of fun videos coming your way this week. You don't wanna miss out, so make sure you're subscribed. And of course your bell is turned on again so you're notified when I upload. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you are here for the grocery hauls and check out my 2021 calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and don't forget to head on over and join us on my Facebook group. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.